This is an excerpt from my paper, Skeletons of a CTMU Unified Field Theory. This will be published in a book in the next year or so as a collection of papers exploring and defending the CTMU. You can find the paper linked in the description below. The quantum mechanical view of the CTMU can be summed up through an extension of the respected physicist John Wheeler's participatory universe idea, which says that physics gives rise to observer participancy, observer participancy gives rise to information, and information gives rise to physics, and is it from bit cosmology, which says that the information from observer participants across time parameterizes the existence and evolution of the universe. Langen generalizes observer participancy to the agentive telesis of observer participants, redefining the role of human beings and other organisms of sufficient cognitive complexity to a secondary teller that participates in and informs the reality self-simulation. Therefore, Langen writes, in the CTMU, human beings comprise a class of entities with a very specific mathematical formulation and an essential role in the structure and dynamics of reality. Where observer participants or sensor controllers of the kind discussed form an intermediate level of causation between the global and quantum strata of reality, understanding the nature of agent of telesis will prove to be the missing link to finally synergistically relate the microscopic and macroscopic scales of reality to each other. The famous double slit experiment that proved to modern physics the reality of wave particle duality in quantum mechanics shows that in between acts of observations, electrons, when passed through a double slit, produce an interference pattern or probability wave distribution or quantum wave function, technically, on a screen and only collapse to behave like particles once registered, i.e. measured by scientists, meaning quantum particles in some sense seem to be sensitive to the act of human observation. According to the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics pioneered by Nobel Prize winning physicists Werner Heisenberg, Niels Bohr, and others, quantum wave functions exist in between measurements as an infinite expansive space of all potential states from which the quantum wave function collapse, the decoherence of the wave function, probabilistically selects from to actualize the particular position and momentum of a quantum particle. A poetical interpretation of the decoherence of the quantum wave function that, quote, a physicist is just an atom's way of looking at itself has been attributed to Niels Bohr. The false quote seems to have been based on Nobel Prize winning physiologist George Wald's lecture, Life and Mind in the Universe, in which he remarks, a physicist is the atom's way of knowing about atoms. Regardless, this reflects a fundamental principle of quantum mechanical interpretation, Niels Bohr's correspondence principle, which says that properties of large quantum mechanical systems must reproduce and correspond to that which we would expect from the equations of classical physics, and, in principle, the mental activities of the scientists who study these equations as well. We can generalize Bohr's correspondence principle, owing to Langen's dictum that QM must relate the microscopic and macroscopic scales of reality, to include not only the requirement of reproducing classical physics, but answering metaphysical questions as well, including, but not limited to, the evolution of biological organisms and consciousness for whom emergence the universe seems to be fine-tuned, the inception of the universe and its physical structure, and numerous other problems. A true grand unified theory need not only to adjoin quantum mechanics to general relativity, but also to correspond to the Darwinian model of biological evolution, solve the so-called hard problem of consciousness, and account for the fine-tuning problem of the constants in nature, the anthropic principle in cosmology, and more, in a way not preemptively closed off to teleology and advanced causation. It remains to be seen that if we are to take the results of the double slit experiment seriously, an explanation of these problems and conundrums plaguing the physical sciences qua quantum mechanics amounts to an explanation of these problems and conundrums qua observation, where mainstream quantum mechanics supports a view of reality in which is it impossible to hold physical reality apart from a generalized self-perception that determines its existence, evolution, and sustenance. Langen holds that the universe begins in a state of unbound telesis, a realm of zero constraint and infinite possibility where neither boundary nor content exists, which self-configures retrocausally by feedback between syntax and state and the information gained from the perception of its secondary tellers, which amounts to local self-perceptions in and of the universe, which determine the laws of st and structure of the universe as they evolve in coupling with their instances, in a way corresponding to Wheeler's model of the participatory universe previously discussed.
Unbound Telesis is alternatively called the Syntactic Metaverse, a set of infinite expansive potential that describes the deep reality needed for a proper quantum mechanical interpretation, which must select from a cosmic wave function in order to actualize a particular universe. The universe is created on the fly according to its own freely changing internal conditions. It's imperative for the emergence of secondary tellers who can fortify and renew its identity through local self-perceptions, agentive telesis, and observer participancy. The CTMU reveals that the quantum wave function collapse is not random, deterministic, or stochastic, but rather according to the mind and will, agentive telesis, and needs of the secondary images of the GOD across time, who are observer participants in the reality self-simulation created by, for, and through their existence and evolution. The laws and structure of the universe are due to three levels of quanta. The GOD, the primary teller and syntactor, uh, observer participants, secondary tellers and syntactors, and subordinate quanta, tertiary syntactors, the smallest discrete units of reality. In the CTMU, syntactors are coherent processors responsive to telic recursion, the advanced causation slash programming of the conspansive manifold, and tellers are structurally complex syntactors that can factorize telesis or actualize ontic potential and have sufficient complexity to consciously generate internal representations of themselves and their relationships with the external environment. Tertiary syntactors or syntactic operators conspan to form a continuous medium of existence called the conspansive manifold, which, as opposed to the classical manifold of physics and Cartesian coordinate spaces of mathematics, are not quantized in terms of zero-dimensional cuts. Christopher Langen writes that the problem with such mathematical quantization is that of zero extent in a given space means non-existent in that space. Existence in a space means taking up space in it, and we cannot assert the existence of a space consisting of non-existent points that take up no space at all. Instead, the CTMU maps the classical manifold into a conspansive manifold, a meta-mathematical structure representing reality's fundamental nature as it evolves over time. It is a multidimensional space that encompasses all possible states of the universe and the dynamics of the manifold determine the evolution of the universe. The universe is a self-simulation by, for, and through ultimate reality. Reality is an identity operator that identifies with itself through the process of creation and then attributes existence to its own identity. In the CTMU, God is called the GOD, the global operator descriptor of this reality self-simulation. The internal logic of the self-simulation is through the metaformal system, an intrinsic language that reality uses to communicate with itself, also called M. Christopher Langen writes, The evolution of the conspansive manifold is that of M itself. QM, quantum mechanics, is thus mapped to the open top layer of the conspansive manifold, the surface structure of the metaformal system in which the terminal display of physical reality is located, and thus the excitations of the deep reality which are represented by the formalisms of the Schrodinger equation and the logico-geometric structure of the conspansive manifold itself. Eight. The conspansive manifold evolves through a two-stage process called conspansion, where points in the manifold inter-expand to include all potential states and re-quantize according to the time-dependent information of the tellers and syntactors through which M self-quantizes and generates its future state through a state transition syntax consisting of the metaformal grammar gamma mu, which maps between M and its secondary images. The two phases of the conspansive process are analogous to M's design and actualization of the universe as a whole, and thus related to the familiar wave-particle duality of quantum mechanics. Each new state is created within the image of the previous one, transforming a superposition of many possible states into a single eigenstate, meaning the entire universe is rescaling and requantizing at every moment in time. Because reality is a closed descriptive manifold that omits no essential predicate, its self-description is isomorphic to its self-instantiation, and by syndifionesis, there is therefore a deeper level of reality which includes both its linguistic and logical structure, as well as its geometric and physical instantiation. Thus begins Langen's regress, which ultimately requires that reality be fundamentally logico-geometric, or, alternatively, a language that both describes its object universe and creates the universe it describes, a metalinguistic object, or self-configuring, self-processing language. 
The points in the Conspansive Manifold are thus mapped to syntactic operators who achieve spatial extension in state transition syntax according to the teleology of the metaformal system, and evolve by transforming the deep structure of the SCSPL universe in a way equivalent to the grammatical transformations of the start symbol in formal grammar theory through which intelligible expressions of language are derived. Quantum metamechanics, therefore, comprises the correspondence between the formalisms of quantum mechanics and the linguistic or metaformal structure of reality itself by mapping the quantum wave function collapse into the conspansive manifold, and thus, quote, by distributing the design phase of reality over the actualization phase, conspansive space-time also provides a distributed mechanism for intelligent design, adjoining the restrictive principle of natural selection, a basic means of generating information and complexity. The position and momentum of quantum particles, therefore, are not random or determined, but rather the expression of the metaformal identity M and its secondary images, which can scale over time to form complex systems with teleodynamics, a generalization of classical mechanics that focuses on the universe's expression of teleology over time, including the course of cosmic and biological evolution. The quanta of the universe, tellers, syntactors, etc., scale to telic coherence in a way reminiscent of Bohr's correspondence principle through the metalinguistic grammar gamma mu, also called the mu morphism, which attaches God to its which attaches the god, which attaches God to its secondary images and determines the evolution of the universe over time. Reality consists of a generic level of M's own self-attributed being as ontic potential, generatively actualizing itself from that potential in the form required to for existential self-identification and scientific intelligibility. This form, the syntax, rules, and structure of every operator and descriptor in the conspansive manifold is called the universal distributed form, UDF, of the GOD, and is what relates all of the several parts of the universe to one another and to the whole. Therefore, reality is self-similar at all levels and could be creatively termed a fractal, whose detailed structure reflects and instantiates the universe as a whole through an extended superposition that allows all quanta of the universe to non-locally interact with one another and to the whole. In the language of Greek philosophy, the G.O.D. could be considered the form of the universe, forming the essential basis of reality, giving life and coherence to the cosmos, and comprising the metaphysical essence of all things. In the language of Greco-Christian theology, the CTMU metaformal system, M, seems to qualify as a technical definition of the logos, ancient Greek for word, making the ultimate identity of reality linguistic in nature. Thus the scriptural passage, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, from John 1.1, 1, 1, can be interpreted in the CTMU metaformal system, reflecting the coupling of M and the G-O-D in the CTMU concept of God and ultimate reality. We said that reality is fractal in nature, and yet it has shocking coherence at all strata, including its highest level of identity. What binds all strata, diversity, and multiplicity in the universe? Clearly, the answer, as it always has been, is logos, the intrinsic meta-language that unites the terminal actualization and non-terminal design domains of reality through its distributed metaformal grammar, and connects the life and consciousness in and of the universe to M, thereby allowing it to fortify and renew its identity. In the CTMU metaformal system, the design and actualization of life and consciousness are specifically quantized as innately coherent secondary tellers whose coherent existence surpasses their physical emergence. Therefore, according to CTMU quantum metamechanics, life originated metaphysically as well as biologically and exists to allow the universe to instantiate logos slash M over time through its secondary images slash observer participants. Let the light shine forth in the darkness. May the peace of our Father in heaven be upon you. Like and subscribe. Peace.